Welcome to Encounter, everybody. I hope that you are blessed as you join me to sing some songs and pray together on a Sunday. Today, I want to do some Chris Tomlin songs. Everybody knows Chris Tomlin in the church world, right? He's definitely one of the most popular Christian musicians of our time. And I've sung his songs for years since I first started singing in the church, which was probably the mid-2000s. His music was always there, and of course, in the last few years, it's become even more popular. What I love about Tomlin music is that it is very much God-centered. Some of the other modern worship can often become very sort of self-centered. But Chris Tomlin writes songs about God that glorify God and give God glory, and I have always enjoyed his music. His songs are very congregational. They're easy for churches to sing together. You have to take them down a few keys because he sings far higher than most men, but... His songs are, are beautiful theologically and they are very singable melodically. Who is Chris Tomlin? Well, he was born in 1972 and started leading worship in the 90s. Before long, he hooked up with Louis Giglio, who became quite a world-renowned preacher and teacher. They started passion conferences, which still go all around the world today. And Chris Tomlin started to release music and quickly it spread around the world. His first album, which was released on a large scale, was called The Noise We Make. And there's a song here that I love. It's called We Fall Down. And the imagery from the song comes out of Revelation chapter 4, where John sees all creation basically falling down and all the elders casting their crowns at the feet of Jesus in heaven and singing, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lamb. And so sing it with Nicole and I. Nicole was here a while back and sang the song with me. I hope that you'll sing along and give God glory as you sing.
we fall down, we lay a crown at the feet, at the feet of Jesus, the greatness of mercy and love. At the feet, at the feet of Jesus. Let's pray. God, our Father, we cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God, our Savior, Jesus. And Lord, we fall down, we lay our crowns at his feet. Oh, we want to humbly fall in front of you, Lord. You are our God. You are wonderful. You are worthy of our praise. And so we, we start the session by just praising your name, declaring that there is none like you and that you alone deserve the glory. Lord, take your place as king in our lives and on our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, probably the best Chris Tomlin song and the most known one around the world is How Great Is Our God, an instant modern classic this became when it was released in 2004 on his album Arriving. He co-wrote the song with Jesse Reeves and Ed Cash, and this would be his normal pretty much going forward as he co-wrote with a lot of other great Christian musicians. But this is just a very powerful song. I have always loved singing this song. And I've heard it done different ways. I've heard it done very gently. I've heard it done very powerfully and, and with lots of loud instruments. But of course, in the end, the arrangement is secondary. What is important here is singing these words that say, How great is our God. You know, the splendor of the king clothed in majesty. Let all the earth rejoice. Beautiful words. I guess that you've probably sung this one a few times in your life. And I want to encourage you today to sing it as if you've never heard it before. Look at these words and think about what the words represent. Because they paint a picture of our God that is just amazing. And I don't want us to sing this song and not be moved. I don't want us to be distracted and do all sorts of other things. We recorded this when I was still at Imseni and we were in the lockdown and Gav came and did a, a session with me because we weren't meeting at the church yet. And we sang it and we so enjoyed singing it together. So sing with us here, but do more than sing. Worship, worship and look at these beautiful words. May they inspire you to see God for who he is. Splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide. It trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age he stands And time is in his hands Beginning and the end Beginning and the end The Godhead three in one Father, Spirit, Son The Lion and the Lamb Lion in the land, how great 
is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Name above all names, He's the name above. God, and oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God, how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and oh, we'll see how great, how great God, how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, oh, we see how great is our God. doesn't get much better than that. We still sing that song today and we just love it because it sums up who God is in a very beautiful and powerful way. When I was in high school, I bought a Chris Tomlin CD because I saw this name and I knew that we were singing his songs. So I bought the CD, which is called See the Morning. And man, I listened to this album a lot for a good few years. It was always in my mind and on my heart. And the last song on the album was Amazing Grace, My Chains Are Gone, which is the old him, Amazing Grace, written by John Newton, and with a new chorus added in the middle. Some people I've heard hate this, this one. They say that, ah, oh, Tomlin and Louis Giglio, who co-wrote it with him, just wanted to make money, and so they took a famous hymn and added extra into it. I don't believe that. I look at this chorus about how my chains are gone, I've been set free. You know, my God, my Savior has ransomed me like a flood. His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. Singing that in the middle of these, these amazing grace verses has always been very meaningful to me. God breaks chains. There's an old hymn that talks about my chains fell off. That's a Charles Wesley song. My chains fell off. And here my chains are gone, Tomlin writes. My chains are gone. I've been set free by the gospel of God, by the grace of Jesus Christ. I hope that you've experienced this. I hope that faith has broken the chains that used to hold you back and given you new freedom in your life. Call out to God and ask him to free you and to get rid of your chains. And I pray that as you sing this, you will either experience that or you'll celebrate having experienced it in your life at some other point. And grace 
my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy reigns unending love amazing grace the Lord has promised good to me his word my hope secures he will my shield and portion be as long as life endures my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy reigns unending love amazing grace my chains are gone I've been set my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. The earth shall soon dissolve like snow. The sun forbear to shine. But God, who called me here below, will be forever mine will be forever mine you are forever mine thank you god for amazing grace amazing grace unending love amazing grace how wonderful to be freed and Father, I pray right now for those in bondage. I pray for those who are watching and who are just struggling to break free from their sin, struggling to break free from shame. I pray, Lord, that in this moment you will touch them and show them that in you there is freedom. I pray, Lord, that they will throw themselves on you and believe with all their hearts that in Christ there is victory and there is new life. Oh, I pray, Lord, break our chains let us not be chained to ourselves and chained to our sin and chained to our shame, but break those chains and I pray set us free to love you freely, to love you truly, to worship you with all our hearts and to honor you in all that we do. Break the chains and set us free, I pray, O oh God, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Oh, I love these songs. I love how they, they bring me into God's presence in a very special way. Now, this next song, I didn't really even know. I only heard it later, long after it was released in 2013. Chris Tomlin released the Burning Lights album that year, and I remember listening to it, but I think by then I was listening to other stuff more than Tomlin. And so I missed out on this song somehow, and it's only a few years ago that I discovered this song, and I just... 
got to really like it. Chris Tomlin and Phil Wickham, another very popular Christian songwriter of our time, co-wrote the song and performed it together on this album. And in light of what we've just sung in Amazing Grace, my chains are gone. These words are very beautiful. They say, thank you, God, for saving me. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for breaking those chains off of me and setting me free. It's imperative that we, we say thank you. Do you remember how only one of the lepers came back to thank Jesus for freeing them? Oh, I pray that more than one of us is going to come back to Jesus today to say thank you, God, for saving me and setting me free. Pray and sing this with me and let it just stir your heart to great gratitude for what he's done. What can I give to you? What can I offer to King for all the love you've shown? For all your mercy over me I called your name You heard my cry Out of the grave And into life My heart is yours My soul is free Thank you God for saving me Thank you God For saving me The rock of salvation My hope is built on nothing less Morning by morning Oh, how great is your faithfulness I called your name You heard my cry Out of the grave And into life My heart is yours My soul is free Thank you God for saving me Thank you God For saving me You gave your life upon the cross You suffered once for all You made a way Jesus in victory you rose You made us all your own Now we are saved Thank you God for saving me Thank you God for saving me Thank you God for saving me For saving me your name you heard my cry out of the grave and into life my heart is yours my soul is free thank you God for saving me thank you God for saving me Thank you, God, for saving me. Thank you, God, for saving me. Isn't it lovely to sing songs like this, glorifying God, fixing our eyes and our hearts on Him so that He gets the glory for what He's done in our lives? Chris Tomlin is one of the modern greats, really, of Christian music. He's written so many songs and recorded and produced and released so many songs. He was the first Christian artist, in fact, to have over a billion streams of his music. That's crazy. A billion streams. 
that means a lot of people are listening to his music and being blessed by it. And so go and find his albums and listen to them. I've just scratched the surface here, but there's a wealth of material out there by Chris Tomlin that is so worth listening to that I'm sure you'll be blessed by if you go and spend some time soaking into it. In 2010, he released an album called And If Our God Is For Us. And a great song came out with that album called Our God. And this has also become one of his real popular favorites. People have sung this song all over the place in the years since its release. I love singing the song. It says, and if our God is for us, then who can ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Great scriptural words from Romans chapter 8. It says, our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. And again, it shows his God focus in these songs. Not just me, 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 but God, you deserve the praise. God, you are great. And uh, I love singing songs like that. I'm always worried that our churches get too selfish in their in their songs and that we come and, ex and sing more about our experience than about God's greatness. Our songs, friends, shape us in a beautiful way. And if you listen to songs like this and if you use songs like this to deepen your relationship with God, oh, how blessed you're going to be. So let's sing Our God together here. Our God is healer, 
awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? What could stand against? Let us pray. God, you are higher than any other, and we worship you and praise you today. Father, thank you for music like this. Thank you for your servant, your son, Chris Tomlin, whose music has blessed even us tonight, the few of us that join here. But we pray that you will bless him as he's been a blessing to others. And we pray that this music of his will keep spreading and keep touching lives. Father, I pray that he'll get another billion streams of his music. But I pray, Lord, that those streams will not just be listened to and then discarded. I pray that these songs will touch lives, will draw people nearer to you, will unlock your grace in people's lives so that chains will be gone and hearts will turn to you. Lord, if you are for us, who can be against us? We hold on to that and we hold on to all these songs. We fall down, lay our crowns at your feet. We declare how great is our God today. We thank you for amazing grace and unending love. We thank you, God, for saving us. And we declare that you're our God and we love you. Go with us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, I will not be seeing you next week on Encounter. Shereen and I are taking a short break during the school holidays. So I'll start up again the week after, which will be Easter. So I look forward to sharing that time with you. Go well. God bless you.